We're going to walk you through the installation of the JNL oil separator for your Mercury Marauder. Included in the JNL kit is a fully assembled oil separator, mounting bracket, mounting screws, and mounting bolt. The tools you'll need for installation is a 13 millimeter socket, ratchet, and a Phillips head screwdriver, and light grease. Let's get started. The first step is we're going to remove the factory PCV line which is this hard line here, plastic line. You'll see it's in two like rubber boots. Uh, these boots may be in varying condition due to the age of this vehicle. So you also may need to actually break them free with a pair of pliers. You can just grab a pair of pliers and twist them. This hose has already been out, so it's gonna be pretty easy to remove, but you just pull it right out, twist, and remove. Next, we're gonna mount the bracket. There is an open hole, threaded hole here, right on the front side of the cylinder head. I'm going to slide our bracket between these wiring harnesses and start our bolt. You can go ahead and tighten that bolt up. You can just hold some pressure down on the bracket, and that bolt will bite in. To the bracket. Next we're going to grab our oil separator assembly and we're going to mount it to the bracket with the supplied screws. Start these screws by hand. And then we'll need to make our connections. So this connection will rotate. So we're going to do that and make our connection there. And then for the connection here at the intake, we're going to put a little grease on that fitting to allow it to push all the way into the fitting. And also these boots can be removed. Um, you may have some gunk and stuff built up in there. You can clean those out. Said you may also want to look into replacing these. These should still be available through Ford. If not, there's other ways with you know various sizes of hoses that you could probably create something to replace them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little grease on this fitting. And this is gonna allow this to push all the way in. So, and then if that's pulling on it, this, these hoses can rotate, they'll spin. So I'm going to just rotate this hose to kind of relax the whole setup. And then our fitting here, same thing, I'm going to put a little grease on it. And then we're going to slide that into place. So you'll notice here that our, our boot, basically our two connections are touching because what I've done is I've pushed this rubber boot further onto the connection at the valve cover. But I can just slide that down and uh, make a complete connection there.